wapiga kura wawili wamewasilisha malalamishi kwa kamati ya tume huru na mipaka ya kushughulikia malalamishi wakitaka ifutilie mbali kuidhinishwa kwa vinyandeti kugombea kiti cha ugavana wa kaunti ya Machakos walalamishi hao wawili wanatilia shaka uhalali wa shahada ya degree ya ndeti wanayosema haitambuliwi nchini Kenya na jinsi tunavyokuwa arifu pia ni kuwa mwenyeji ugavana wa kaunti ya Mombasa Mike Sonko amewasilisha ama napinga sababu za kutoidhinishwa na tume IEBC kugombea kiti hicho ambazo ni pamoja na kutokuwa na vyeti asili na kubanduliwa ofisini Shughuli za leo za kamati ya tume ya IEBC ya kushughulikia mizozo zilianza kukosilishwa kwa malalamishi dhidi ya mgombeaji ugavana wa kaunti ya Machakos so Vinyandeti. Walalamishi wawili Gideon Ngewa na Kisilo Motisia walienda katika kamati hiyo wakitaka kuidhinishwa kwa ndeti kufutiliwe mbali wakidai kwamba shahada yake ya degree ya mwaka moja mia kenda tisina tano katika masomo ya kompyuta kutoka chuo kikuu cha South Bank cha London hakitambuliwi nchini Kenya. Pia wanatilia shaka halali wa shahada yake ya uzamili katika masuala ya biashara kutoka chuo kikuu cha City mjini London ambayo alipata miaka mitatu kabla shahada ya kwanza The degree which is submitted to IBC is not authentic. You can easily go to River Road here and produce a degree certificate under the University of London. And then you present it to the, to the commission for, 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 for university education. They will say that degree is recognized. Wovinya kupitia wakili wake anasitiza kwamba shahada zake ni halali na kwamba alidhinishwa kugombea uchaguzi mwaka 2017 kwa kutumia shahada hizo. The only qualification for a person qualified as a governor in this respect is a university degree. A university degree has been produced. The nature of the orders being sought by the complainant in my view will fall within the definition of unreasonableness. Kiti hiyo itatoa uamuzi tarehe 18 mwezi huu. Wakati wa huo mwaniaji gavana wa kaunti ya Mombasa Mike Sonko anasitiza kwamba alidhinishwa kugombea kiti cha ugavana wa kaunti ya Nairobi mwaka 2017 kwa kutumia vyeti hivyo vyake ambavyo sasa vinatiliwa shaka. Kupitia mawakili wake Sonko pia anasema kesi yake ya kumbandua mamlakani iko katika mahakama ya juu. Sonko vile vile aliandamana na kiongozi wa chama cha Wipa Kalonzo Musyoka miongoni mwa wengine. Our constitution is very clear. Unless you have exhausted all the channels under the law ways kuzuiliwa to run for any office. Swala hilo litamuliwa hapo kesho.